Hey Coach RJ, I want to start running. I'm an absolute beginner. What do you suggest I start or what do you think that I should do? Well first, you have to understand that running just like everything takes time and it's slow progress. If you've never ran before or you haven't done it in a long time, but if you're used to fit club style training, then there's a simple protocol that you can follow and it's going to make it more enjoyable and less painful. But first, we have to warm up that lower body. So the first pain you're going to probably feel is going to start in your feet, then it's going to translate into your calves, then it's going to translate into your knees, then it's going to translate into your hips. So running is a repetitive strain on the lower body and if your legs aren't conditioned to that repetitive, repetitive running and that constant impact, then you're going to be sore. Just like your very first workout, you're going to be sore. So first, we want to start by stretching your feet, then we want to work into the calves, then we want to work into the knees, then we want to work into the hips. And what I've done is I've put a YouTube link to my stretching protocol that uh, I would suggest that you do. It only takes about five minutes. You do that stretching protocol before you start your run walk and uh, get it done. Your body's going to feel much warmer. So now that you're mobile, it's time to get walking. Now you're saying walking. Coach RJ, I want to start running. Well, we got to walk and we want to sprinkle in a little bit of running because we have to see how your body's going to respond. So I would tell you to walk for two and a half minutes. So get a timer, get your phone, get your music going, have a timer going. So every two and a half minutes, it's going to beep and then you're going to run for 30 seconds. Now you're not sprinting, just keep your body going, run for 30 seconds. And you're actually going to find that that's really hard. So you're going to run for two and a half or walk for two and a half. Then you're going to run for 30 seconds and then you're going to walk again for two and a half. Then you're going to run for 30 seconds and you're going to do four intervals of that. Okay. So four times two and a half with a 30 second run. And what you want to do is use the next day as an indicator of whether or not you're going to progress, but you're going to feel most of the soreness two days later. Now this protocol, I don't want you to make any changes. Let's say that you're able to do the 30 seconds. No problem. I would suggest that you wait a week. Okay, wait a week, let's see how your body feels. Do the two and a half with the 30 second running four intervals and do it three times. Now if you're not extremely sore on the second day after doing it, then you can go up to four times, you can go up to five times, but stick with the protocol, okay? And uh, eventually you're gonna start to increase your total time, right? So for instance, if week one you're doing three 12 minute total runs, then the week after we go to three 15 minute total runs and then we want to find that desired time if your goal is to run for 30 minutes straight then we just have to make the adjustments as you go about but guess what running just like anything else that you first started whether it was a fit club style workout or whether it was your first time you picked up a tennis racket or whether it was the first time you said the ABCs we're all gonna suck at it it's gonna hurt but you know what, it's gonna be a great tool that you're gonna have in your fitness belt that's gonna go smooth and it's gonna feel great to go with your Fit Club style workouts.